Get the shrapnel out. Who? Me? I'll keep him still. Trying not to be loud. It's okay, AJ. Just breathe. Put your hands there. Stop the bleeding. It's okay, AJ. He's just gonna patch you up. It's enough. For now. Oh, easy. Easy. Where's our stuff? My gun. We lost it, buddy. Lewis and Violet ran. They're safe. Yeah, probably. It sucks. I didn't mean to endanger you. The walkers were sent to help you. You sent the walkers? Was part of a group. Call themselves Whisperers. They've learned to live in herds, among walkers. Move among them. Sometimes, guide them. Why are you alone, if you were part of a group? They attacked a community. Saw the carnage. Didn't want to be part of it. Oh, does it hurt? Hungry. Eat. Both of you. Thank you. Do you have a name? Been a while. Since? I've said it. James. Why did you help us, James? The people who attacked you. What do you know about them? I know they steal kids. They took two last year. A common practice for them. They're at war up north. Their entire community against another. It's why they take people, to make them fight, train them, use them. You would join their war. That's horrible. Yes. That's why I helped you. Thank you. Clem?
Wait. Throw it. Distract him. Works just as well, and nobody gets hurt. Not us. Not him. difficult to send the herd in to save you. I didn't want them to die. So, James, do you just hang around in the woods, saving random people? After I left my group, I wandered. First time alone, ever. Saw war everywhere. First against walkers, then against each other. Hoped it would be better here. Where are you from? Here? Or somewhere far away? Georgia. Long way from home. It feels like forever ago. It was. So, where are you from? Washington. The city or the state? The city. Dad ran a food truck. I helped. You've got a fever. His wound will need proper cleaning and medicine, if you're lucky enough to have any. The school has medicine, but I don't think they'll share it. That's why those people attacked you, isn't it? To get to that school. They'll destroy whatever they find. Bring more guns. More fighters. Take everyone inside. They won't be able to fight them off. You need medicine. You have to go back, or you'll lose him. <sighs> I have to go back and warn them. It's the right thing to do. Noble of you, despite their treatment. I'll help you get back. Past the walkers. A few more hours and we'll go. That's a few hours for you to sleep. <sighs> I'll stay awake. You don't have to. Sleep. I'll keep watch. <sighs> okay, I will. What about you? Don't need it. Not tonight. Rest well. Good night. can carry him. You're exhausted. No, I've got him. Oh. <sighs> 
hurts. Hang on. We're almost there. Walker! <sighs> Violet! Lewis! They came back! Look, you live out there alone, right? You could stay with us. Not ready. I can't keep carrying you. We'll be inside soon. Rest now. Shit! Is he... Uh... He's alive. He was shot. He's got a fever. Come on, let's get him inside. I can't. It's okay, buddy. I got you. Let me see. I have what I need upstairs. Come on. We got the shrapnel out of him. We? It's a long story. He's running a fever. Body's trying to fight infection, poor little guy. Ruby and Lewis will take care of him. You come with me. We can talk in the office. Clem? Shh. You just try to rest, okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Clem! AJ, listen to Ruby, okay? She'll look after you. Come on, what do we do when we're scared? When fear starts to get the upper hand, We breathe. we breathe in, hold it in. I'm good now. Clementine, please. We need to talk. What happened out in the woods? I saw they had you pinned and I... Shit, I got so crazy. When I heard you call for help, I didn't even think. I wanted to help you, but when you told us to run, I had to trust you. Thank you for protecting us. It was really brave. I really thought you were dead, Clem. It's just everything is so fucked right now, you know? Everyone is scared, Clem. It's really good to see you again. It's good to see you too. Just wish Mitch and the others felt the same. Lewis and I told them what happened in the woods. That woman who attacked you, Lily. So you do know her. We were wondering. Who the hell is she? I mean, I know you're not, like, with her group, but the others don't like the coincidence. Her showing up right after you? I mean, Lily and I were friends a long time ago. Friends? Back when the walkers first showed up, we lived in a motor inn. Survived really awful shit. Lily tried to keep us all together. Looks like she's changed. Yeah, seems that way. 
She murdered someone in our group, gunned them down during an argument. Carly was her name. She refused to let Lily push her around. It was right at the start. I haven't seen Lily since. I believe you. But? There's something else. Lily said someone was with you at the gates. James. He saved me and AJ, let us stay in his camp for the night. But why did you bring him here? You led him right to us. I mean, he's a stranger, Clem. Running into those two in the woods, it proved we can't trust anybody. Look, he's not with the raiders. He lives by himself in the woods. Willie said he was wearing, I don't know, animal skins or something? He was wearing walker skin. That's how he gets past herds. He can guide them, too. <sighs> wow. Okay. I wouldn't have brought him here if I thought he was a threat. It's not that I don't trust you. I'm just worried about the others and what they might do. They didn't even get a chance to mourn Brody and Marlin before these child-snatching assholes showed up. And then you two come back after we thought you were dead. Now they're confused and no one knows how to feel about AJ. Violet, AJ is the least of their worries. I know, but everything is such a mess. They're scared and angry and they're looking for someone to blame. I mean, they kicked you out. How am I supposed to make them change their minds about you? It was decided. Five to three against. I know it feels like it shouldn't matter, but they were afraid of you. Both of you. Last thing they need is more things to fear right now. You don't have to. Let me convince them. James told me what Lily and Abel will do next. He said they'll get more people and guns and come attack us. Take everyone here. How the hell would he know? He's watched them for a while. They're at war with another community. They take people to fight for them. Is that what happened to Minnie and Sophie? They turn them into soldiers? Yeah, it'll happen to us too, if we don't stop them. Minnie didn't even like killing walkers. Look at this place. It's a fortress. With a little work, we could make this place really hard to attack. Do you actually know how to do that? Yeah, I was part of a siege once in a town called Richmond. Here, let me show you. We've got good strong walls. We need to make them hard to climb over, so the raiders have to come in through the gates. We used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse. The courtyard's pretty wide open, not a lot of cover. We should flip the picnic tables, narrow down the pathways through it. So we'll know which way they're coming. At the very least, it'll give us protection if they get past these walls. This is where we should make our stand. There's only one way in, the front, and then there's the big central staircase. If we rig that path with traps, we can pull back here. Luring in our attackers. I like it. Well, you guys don't use the greenhouse anymore, do you? No, we used to. Then we lost someone out there. Walkers overran the place and Marlin wouldn't let us go back. <laughs> Safe zone. We need to get that barbed wire so they can't climb the walls. I'll go. Are you sure? It's gonna be swarming with walkers by now. Okay, what the hell's going on? Willie told me she was back, but I was like, no way. Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. Shh, would you keep it down? The little boy's asleep. His fever's already going down, Clem. He's gonna be okay. Great. We're just giving them our medicine, too? Mitch, those raiders are getting ready to attack the school. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. All I know is that since she showed up, it's been trouble. These raiders all carry guns, and they know how to use them. So whatever you think of me and AJ, deal with it, or you're gonna end up dead. I'd rather take my chances. 
Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. You know, to keep the peace. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making the calls? Since no one else stepped the fuck up. <sighs> These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation. See you there. I guess I didn't realize how long it's been. How much it's changed. Ah, uh, this ain't budging. You gonna stand there sulking all day? Or you gonna do something useful? Well, we need that barbed wire. There must be another way in. Wild boar. Not too many in these parts, but they were more common where I grew up. I used to hunt them with my old man when I was little. They make terrible noises when they die. I like it. It'll look good on my wall. Are you okay? It's been so long since I was here. I used to love this place, but it's so overgrown. I'll be fine. Let's just find a way in. What do you want? Uh, nothing. You're only here because we're desperate, you know, so don't get comfy. If we survive these raiders, you and I are gonna have words. Let's survive first. Mm, I can't see shit. Well, there's too much condensation on the inside. Condensation? That's a big word for you. Shut up. That window. I bet we can get in there. Good spot. Mitch, come here and give me a boost. Wait. Make her go first. We send the one we don't mind losing. That's an ugly thing to say. Vi says we need her help, right? She shouldn't mind sticking her neck out. I'll go first. I don't mind. Figured you'd fight it. Thanks, Clem. Holler if one grabs you. Otherwise, we'll come as soon as you give the all clear. I guess we'll know when the door opens.
I'm coming. I'll get the door open. Not bad. Oh, look. Wild ginger. Eastern prickly pear, Jerusalem artichoke. False Solomon seal. Let's find that barbed wire and anything else that might be useful. You seem happy. You can only eat the same bland rabbit stew so many times before you go crazy. These herbs are gonna do wonders for morale. You wait and see. Did you find anything? What do you think? Okay, just asking. You know, the barbed wire idea is smart, I'll give you that. Those assholes try and climb our walls, they'll tear their guts out. I kinda like to see that. Some mushrooms are edible. Find something? Yep, maybe useful. Could be a weapon. Or use it to dig a grave. You weren't there when we dug the holes for Marlin and Brody. We had to use cups and bowls. It took forever. Dibs. Barbed wire. A lot of it, too. That should keep the raiders from climbing our walls. Hey, we can use these. For what? We can make bombs out of these. Bombs? Are you serious? Totally. It's the kind of stuff I made back home. He used to blow shit up. That's why he's a troubled youth. Guilty. I just need some propane and something to create a spark. And we'll have ourselves a nice little homemade explosive. There's a science lab through that door. Maybe there's propane in there. Come on, help me move this thing.
Okay, let's see what's inside. Had a scare, that's all. Oh no. What? Who was she? Miss Martin. Our nurse at the school. She stayed when all the others left. She looks. You can barely recognize her. She's just, just like all the others. I'm sorry, Ruby. I, I just wish I could make her look like she used to. One day we came out looking for food. Walkers attacked us. I thought we could fight them off, but there were just... There were so many. Ms. Martin told us to run. So we did. She taught me how to patch people up. Stitching, local anesthetics, painkillers, fever reducers. I don't think I can. I'll take care of her. Would you? I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Just need a minute. Come on, guys. Help me find that propane and we can get out of here. Ugh, looks like piss. Dare you to drink it? Not in a million years. Wimp. Mitch, is this useful? Fucking A. I was hoping there'd be one of those. That's an igniter. We can use it to create a spark. Now we just have to find propane. We can blast those motherfuckers to hell. You find anything? I actually, I don't know what this is. Ms. Martin meant a lot to you, huh? She was the only one who stayed. She saw us for what we were. A bunch of kids who no one wanted. She loved us when nobody else did. Like, really loved us. Yeah, I've known people like that. I guess everyone has. You seem to know a lot about bombs. I well, made my first one when I was eight. Really? I blew up the garage. It was awesome. Though, Dad didn't think it was awesome. Dad gave me a chemistry set to keep me from fighting the neighbors. Uh, why would you fight the neighbors? I had a lot of energy. I had to use it somehow. 
and they didn't like my face. Hmm, let's hope there's gas in it. Yeah, perfect. Here. Good, fine. Now we have everything we need. We should get back and tell the others. We have to bury Ms. Martin first. Bury her? Why bother? It's a walker. Let me drag it out back. It can burn it. No. Ms. Martin's the reason we're all alive. And? She deserves a proper burial here. Next to the greenhouse she loved. That way the others won't have to see her like this. She's been dead for years. There's no point. She deserves a real burial. I'll help you bury her. It's the right thing to do for someone you cared about. Thank you so much. It's not a her. It's a walker. Fine, whatever. I'm not wasting my energy on that thing. I'll put a stone in the graveyard, back at the school. But Ms. Martin loved this place. She'll be happy here. I'll make sure everyone knows you helped me. That you've got a... a good heart. Under all that muck. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Think it'll be enough? Hopefully. And it means Lily and her people won't be able to climb the walls. They'll have to come through the gates. We can plan for that. Straight into a fiery explosion of death, assholes won't know what hit them. <laughs>